All right, I'm here with South Africa's Bayanda Walaza, world under 20 100 meter champion. How does that sound to you? It sounds great because this is every junior's uh, dream. Everyone was here who wanted to win. So this is the one moment like I really cherish for the rest of my life because this are the world, last juniors for me. So I'll just cherish this moment for the rest of my life. Can you just talk us through what you were thinking on the start line and through the race? Okay, I was thinking, my, my, my mind was like, my mind was focusing on winning. So as I was there, I was, I was, I was not thinking anything. And it was all about winning. As I was there, I was like, you know what, you can do this, man. You are made for this. That's why you're here. This is what you trained for. So I was uh, positive about everything. Whatever's happening, I'm like, you know what, rock in, be positive, stay in what you are planning for. Stayed on my planning, went well, and gave that the results. Now, in the semi-final, you had a stumble at the start. How <laughs> glad are you now that you recovered from that? I'll say at that point, uh, hey, because there was... That was a point. There I told myself, you know what? I think I put so much pressure on myself. I was like, you know, I, I just wanted to go all out. There my mind was looking to know, you know what? Just go all out and see what's going to happen. Because you're running tomorrow, you have a time to recover. So just shy all out. And then, hey, I stumbled. And then I was, there was a point where I was panicking. I was like, hey, But I just kept being positive and I was like, hey, let me push and see what's going to happen. As I was catching. That's where my body was like, you can do it. Go, 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 go until I reach the finish. <laughs> so what was different in the final then? How did you keep yourself composed to, okay. to win the goal? For the final, I was, my mind was like winning. So the difference between there is that at the semifinals, I was focusing on going all out. I did it, didn't matter and all of that. But now the mood changed because now I was thinking of what? Winning. So that was the huge difference between us because now at this point I was I was not even worried about my start at all. With I flopped uh, semi-finals, my mind was like, you know what, we're winning this, and that what happened. So um, what's next for you after this uh, World Junior Title now? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna rest, I think, for a few months. And then I'm just gonna prepare December training for the next year. So this was the closing of my uh, athletics. Uh, Athletic season. So um, I don't know if anyone has mentioned this that your running style maybe might be a bit unconventional. Um, <laughs> so what feedback do you have from your coaches or fans about how your your running style? What I like is that no one ever told no one ever told you said Paul that your running style is weird. No one ever told Paul that your running style is weird. No one told no one loves that your running style is weird. So. I think other people focuses on their techniques and all of that and that makes them slow because they're not showing who they truly are. I think if you just run the way you feel comfortable with, it's going to bring you results. Because as you can see, my hands are all over, but I, I, was, I was strong enough to win. While there's other people who uh, had nice techniques and all of that, so it's about you. If you love what you're doing, it doesn't matter how you do it. How long have you been training in athletics now? Uh, training for this or like athletics wise. I started doing athletics in grade 3, like since I was not there in grade 3, but you know, primary things are not that serious. But I started taking it, in, I started taking it serious in grade 10, where I saw what I was getting, hey, people were beating me up and I was like, yo, I don't like this, it's not comfortable. So let me just work very hard to be in front of everyone. Do you, um, are your coaches or anyone going to try to maybe sharpen your tech, your running style so you can run faster? What, is I, like that part of the plan? Coach, what I like about my coach is that he works on what you have. He's the one person who's really, is truly humbled about everything. So even if you can come with your funny style, he's not going to force you to change it because that's the way you are, that's the way you run. So he will just focus on making your running style effective. So that's what he's doing to me because my hands are all over, but my running is so effective because I'm fast. So he just works on being effective. Who is your coach and where do you train? Say, my coach is Tabo Matibi. Yes, he stays in Pretoria, South Africa. No plans to go to the NCAA maybe? No, 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 no. I'm going to stay in SA. I'm going to stay in SA. I have to keep the roots. I'm going to stay where I come from keep pushing so that you can also show people your South Africa is talent you see you don't need to go to other countries to discover your talent also South Africa we have talent so I'm doing this to show people that 
Being in South Africa is also okay. Final message for your friends, fans, family in South Africa. I'll tell them that they must be humble at all times. Being humble, believing in themselves and also trusting themselves, that will work for them in the future. They must respect their elders, they must not do anything weird, they must not fall under temptation and I love them. All the best, good luck. And I guess 4 by one next? Yes, and also 200. Oh, fantastic. All the best. Thank you.